Who doesn't like a free beer? And I'll tell you all about that in just one second. No brands or breweries influence my daily beer. The opinions expressed are solely those of me, Sean Quinn. And me, Stacy Ryder. And this is my daily beer. Today we spotlight New Belgium Brewing's Fat Tire American Ale. I know it says Belgian style ale, but let's be honest. This is an American ale influenced by one man's trip to Belgium. I've read more and more about New Belgium over the past few days, and I love the fact that they've had an employee stock ownership plan since 2000, and in 2013, they became 100% employee owned. In fact, in 2014, a documentary called We the Owners talks about how New Belgium's focus on employee ownership and how that shapes the overall culture of collaboration. I can't help but to think that that has something to do with the fact that they opened in 1991, but in the the past 30 years, they've become some of the largest brewers in the country. As of last year, they were the fourth largest craft brewery and eighth largest overall in the United States. Yeah, and it's all really on the back of Fat Tire. The Fat Tire recipe comes from co-founder Jeff Liebisch's bicycle trip through Belgium from brewery to brewery. Now, Liebisch was born in Milwaukee. Think about that. That's the home to Miller Brewery. Mm -hmm. Later, he went to college near Budweiser headquarters outside of St. Louis, then moved to Colorado in 1980. It's like the guy was born with a beer bottle in his mouth. <laughs> he ends up in Golden, Colorado, where the Coors Brewery operates. But in 1988, in the avid home brewer of English and German beers would learn about Belgian beers, filling up a notebook with thoughts and observations from his bike trip from brewery to brewery. The whole concept behind Fat Tire was a beer of normal alcohol content, but with lots of flavor. Think about it for a guy who was an avid biker. Mm -hmm. He wanted to have the flavor of those Belgian beers, but you can't have too many of the high AB or you're going to be falling <laughs> off your bike. The one thing Liebisch learned in his bike tour of the Belgian breweries is you absolutely have to have the right yeast strain to make it work. And that's what you can say about Fat Tire. It might be that American style ale, but when you take a sip, that sour yeast gives you a lot more flavor than you find in your other American style beers. It tastes very fresh, perfectly sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's got a little bit. Now, Liebisch semi-retired from New Belgium in 2001, remaining as a consultant with various duties in until 2009. That's nearly a decade ago since he was last affiliated with New Belgium. Think about where craft beer has gone since then. The industry in the United States has tripled to more than 6,000 total U.S. craft breweries. That's probably why nearly a decade after leaving the brewery, he still granted free beer for life. <laughs> Until next time, may your beers be cold. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Sean Quinn. And I'm Stacy Ryder. And join us again tomorrow for another My Daily Beer. <laughs>